Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's really nice to be in here, Singapore WordCamp, and this is my first WordCamp speaking. Uh, I hope you are ready to get to know a bit about custom post type and extend your WordPress project to next level. Uh, I'm Dasun from Sri Lanka. Currently, I'm working as a lead UX designer in John Kills Computer Services. Uh, before we move into the session, I'd like to tell you a bit about me and WordPress. Uh, I started to use WordPress from 2011. I used it as my university project. Uh, then it became my hobby, my career, and basically I'm obsessed with WordPress. So I think anything, any software can be done be using WordPress. So I also, I've been uh, working in the software industry for uh, six years. I've been doing uh, uh, UX and this lot of stuff to e-commerce, airline industries, leisure, education and those stuff. So I firmly believe that we can use WordPress for any kind of application development with, with regardless of its domain and size. Being said that, uh, I have outlined my session in following. First, I'm going to talk about the default post types in WordPress. Then we will see where we can use custom post type in our WordPress projects. So then we can see how we can create a custom post type. Then there's some other functionality to extend custom post types. So then finally, we can see how we can get data to the front end and finish the applications. Do you know uh, what is post type in WordPress? Uh, post type is a, in WordPress is a way that WordPress can hold data. Uh, not all of it, but uh, there are uh, many ways that WordPress can hold data. So post type is uh, one way. There are five different default post type in WordPress. Uh, first one is post, which is uh, we typically use for the blogging and uh, it's displayed in reverse order and post can be assigned to taxonomy. Also, there's another thing called post formats. And uh, second one is page. Uh, page also another post type which we can use to display static data in our websites. Page can be assigned to different page template which is extremely useful when you are looking for uh, extending your applications. And uh, by default, page that does, does not have these taxonomy features. And uh, another important thing is page is hierarchical. That means it can have parent page, child page, so on. And the third one is revisions. It's uh, a post type that's related to page and post content. And revision are used to hold draft posts as well as the past revision of a published post or page. Uh, then the fourth one is attachment. If you upload a file via WordPress media uploader, it will create a post called attachment. It keeps the data of uh, your images or sizes and those stuff. And uh, final one is menus. Uh, it is a type that holds information about navigation items. Uh, it is the only type that uh, except the uh, blog post that we are storing in WP post to navigate throughout the WordPress system. OK. Uh, if you are going to develop a custom post type, it's really important that you have understand these default post types. Because if you are going to build a, a custom post type that doing the same functionality or that has the same feature as a default post type, so there's no point of developing a custom post type. So you can use default post type in such. So uh, uh, it's really good to know, and you know it's, it would be better if you have better understanding about default post types in WordPress. Uh, there are some many situations that we need to use custom post type. Uh, I have taken some examples. Uh, assume that uh, there's a creative agency and you wanted to display your portfolio. Uh, there's a way that you can use default post types. You can create uh, functions called short codes 
or the you can create a you can use default post post using taxonomies and uh, but it would be nicer if you have a separate interface where you can add your project data such as project e videos and project images and you can have a different project categories or again if we take another example like a job vacancy site you can create vacancies and you can create a different taxonomies like you know programming and uh, IT accounting those types so these kind of situation we can use WordPress custom post type to extend our current web applications and uh, I have a prepared small demo for this tracking application if time permits I will show you at the end uh, it's like a web application we can use WordPress for the web applications as well so if you take this tracking application situation uh, let's say that you want to track application if you ordered something in eBay or Amazon you don't know where your application you where your product is you need to track the status right so using WordPress and custom post types we can create a small tracking application so what we need is we need to information about the item or the product and we need to track the status and uh, maybe leave a comment or give a rating in the you know we can communicate in between so let's see uh, what are the ingredients in the WordPress so we will need a custom post type called tracking item where we can add uh, data and uh, we can register few custom post status using uh, WordPress functions like uh, in transist or shipped or local post and received whatever uh, status that you want to add and uh, then we can add some custom taxonomies to categorize our product whether it's a book or it's a electronic item so on and some metadata to extend give more data about the items finally we can get the data into the front end and manipulate finish the application okay now we will see the custom post types if we are uh, talking the term custom in the word press that means that everything that we are hooking outside to the system I like to use the term hooks because the hooks are action hooks and filter hooks are the way that WordPress can extend and it is the easy way so in the custom post type we will see how we can register custom post type and then we will see extending post type with custom taxonomies and meta boxes and we will see some of what are the best practice for development of custom post type uh, custom post type is the way that you can hook custom content as I said earlier it's like movies product portfolios or whatever the custom content that you feel you need to add to your WordPress applications if we talked in SQL way it's a it's an additional value in the WP post table in post type column Uh, I found this uh, uh, Lego it's I think I can exp uh, I feel it's a good example how we can ex explain WordPress and custom post type uh, if you can see this base Lego that means a foundation and base it's like WordPress you need a special way to hook that like using these building blocks if you take building blocks as a custom post type and you can build anything top up on this Lego there's a way so you can beat it. It's like custom post type and WordPress. So this is the way that WordPress can create a custom post type. It's really simple function. Uh, in the top up, uh, there's a, this add action. It is the hook that we can uh, hook custom post type into the WordPress. And there are a few arguments that we need to pass. These are the required 
arguments and if you uh, what these are the main two arguments that we need to pass with the registering custom post type first one is label uh, which defines our custom post type name in singular and plural way and uh, we need to define it whether it's a public or not if it is a public you will you can see the custom post type in your admin panel mm -hmm. if you define it's a not public i mean public this is a boolean true or false if you say it false it will not display in the admin uh, example error. For, the, for example the revision it is not display in admin menu but you can get the data it's like that for example uh, if you want to create a some auto generated post type you can uh, say it's as a public fails so this is the expanded version of the registering custom post type function you can uh, use this function to give more uniqueness to your custom post type uh, as, uh, sorry. Uh, you can use these uh, arguments uh, that are labels and you can give a small description using description and uh, there's another very uh, arguments to pass more labels that means you can customize even more and these supports are the things that are uh, uh, WordPress can, uh, you know, WordPress backend will create some uh, data in certain fields like title, editor, and images. And again, there are a lot of uh, arguments that you can pass. That that mean more arguments mean that more you can customize. Uh, you can even uh, define URL types and uh, menu icons and there's a lot of stuff if you refer the codex there are very detailed explanation in each of every item so now we will see how we can extend these custom post types into even more right you can register custom post type remember the tracking app we that we talked in few slides back we need we we need uh, to register few status right like uh, re, uh, shipped dispatch of entrances those kind of stuff so it is a one way that you can extend custom post type using different custom status there are eight default status in the WordPress but uh, using a uh, register post status function you can register more custom post types uh, but the thing is but uh, if you register custom post type using this function uh, I'm sorry it won't display in your WordPress backend I have submitted a bug to that one you know it's really going we can hope in future we can have that feature available in the WordPress but uh, there are a lot of ways that you can get this display in the back end so after adding the status now let's assume that you want to add more data to your custom post type that means if you already have WordPress fields like editor expert and images and you want to add more data so you can use metadata WordPress has a very good API called metadata API and uh, there are two types of metadata which is user meta and post meta we can use post meta to add custom meta box to our custom post type uh, if you are adding if you are going to add a meta box to your custom post type you need to follow these steps and there are separate function for each of these plus you need to add the metadata then you need to add the function 
to update metadata finally you need to uh, where to uh, delete metadata and get data into the front end this is adding custom taxonomy there are some uh, scenario that we need to uh, have a different taxonomies than what we have already in WordPress uh, if you need uh, if you are creating custom post type called movies and you need to add movie types and if you are creating custom post type for the books and you need to add book types so on there's a there's some situation that we need to use custom taxonomies and this is the exact function that we are using to define custom post custom taxonomy into WordPress so here you can define your action hook and the function that related to hook and uh, you can define the post type and uh, you know type for your label and you can even define your custom taxonomy slack and uh, this hierarchical thing is important uh, there are two types of taxonomy like tags and uh, category tag is non hierarchical that means there's no parent and child thing if you define this as a true your new custom taxonomy will be like hierarchical you can have a parent and theme a child uh, like that and when you are developing a custom post types there are some best practices that you need to follow it's always recommended that you use custom post type with with the plugin you can create a custom post type hooking that into the wordpress theme as well but uh, if always think that you are uh, developing something for the end user and uh, if he changed the fake theme that all the things will be lost that you created in the custom post type so it's better you always use the custom post type in plugin uh, the second thing is you need to always prefix your custom post type or the functions that you are creating in that plugin because it if someone created the same plugin or same function as same custom post type and uh, it wa won't conflict if you define your own prefix uh, if you the second thing is if you use a prefix uh, that won't be nice in the front end so you can use uh, URL friendly methods that uh, give you a better URLs and uh, you can add more customization that means you can add more uniqueness to your custom post type using uh, earlier arguments and these things so it will give you a unique identity your custom post type so these are the things and uh, finally we need to get this data out of the front end in order to complete the custom post type application so normally we use WP query class to get data out of the front end so we can use this WP query cl class in two two way uh, one is short code that means you can define a short code and inside the short code function you can use WP query and loop through the query and get the data and uh, if you have created a custom post type like uh, single pages and those stuff so you can use WordPress templating which is uh, you can have your own template your own your custom post type so it it, it is easy you, you know uh, creating custom post type and getting data it's everything like a template that already defined you just need to uh, change the terms that you need to uh, change like uh, custom post type names and slug and icon those things and you can create a custom post type and custom taxonomies within a couple of minutes so getting to the data into front end is the things that you need to have some coding knowledge and 
uh, I'm sure you can find many things from the internet. So before we go to the QA session, let me show you a small application that I have developed using custom post type. So it's very simple and there's nothing big. Uh, I have created this tracking application based on the custom post type and the custom taxonomy and custom post status. So these are already I have entered to the back end. Like uh, this is the tracking code DRA40 and if you click the track now and it will get the data. We found your tracking and tracking ID and this is the item in a, you can see the tracking status. So if you, this is the single uh, view of that item, it say that status is local post and you have some small data and I will show you the backend. So this is the tracking item post type and you can add new item and you can <coughs> use a custom taxonomy like uh, item types, apparel, book or whatever the things that you need to add and this is a small dis description about your application and as you can see you have we have few post status defined, not bound, dispatch, in transit, local post and received and This is the single page template, that means we have used templating and in the home page I have used short code function. I have developed a short code to get this form and you know things into the front end. Yeah, uh, it's cover short code and the uh, templating part as well so that's it's about custom post type and i want to mention that there are few good tools i always use uh, you can use wp generator it's a uh, generator website you can generate custom post type tax custom taxonomy and anything that you uh, there are most things that you can generate admin widgets those stuff and uh, there's another plugin called Metabox, which allow you, allows you to create uh, Metaboxes to your custom port site. Uh, it's, uh, it's not uh, user friendly, but it's a de developer friendly. You can, uh, there's, uh, there's some code knowledge that you need. You can add custom uh, post type using Metabox plugin. And as always, you can refer WordPress codex. It has a lot of data about everything with examples. Uh, and I have added my code references here. If you want to grab a code of that custom post, custom tracking application, you can take the take the code from there. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Lansun, for enlightening us uh, about custom post types. Uh, so. We're here for the Q&A session. If you guys have any questions for him, uh, he's open to questions. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi, uh, So we are currently uh, doing the documentation on some of our plugins. Mm -hmm. Now I wanted to know that for documentation, should we use pages or should we use them as posts? Like which one is better and why? Well, uh, it's depend on your requir requirement. I mean, if you want to add, you know, parent document and uh, under the parent you want to create a child document, then page would be fine, right? So if, if you, it's like, a, you know, there's no relation between you just need to create a title and you need to add the data, then uh, post would be fine. 
uh, when you define the define the custom post type in backend, you can define this whether it sh should be work as a post or the post uh, page. I hope that answered your question. Yeah. yeah. Any more questions? Anyone? Uh, okay, maybe if you have any, you can find them later on during the break. So thank you, Rasan, again. I hope yeah. you come for more work campaigns in future. Yeah, thank yes. you. Thank you. So our next speaker 